Okay, so the distance, uh, it's important to understand that you have your camera, it's pointing at a certain target object that you want to photograph. There's a distance between the lens and the target, and you need to know that because that's where the camera is going to focus its focal, that's where it's going to be in focus at, from that distance. The f-stop is going to allow you to focus in on that area. This gives you a nice interactive kind of view. If I have my focal length set to 50 millimeters, it's a 50 millimeter camera with an f-stop of zero, and if I was to render this, that wasn't the render, the render will take a second, and oops, I gotta make sure I'm rendering from the proper camera, so render from my uh, depth of field camera. Now, depth of field calculations is a, is a post-production process. So it's calculating the image, everything's going to be in perfect focus, and then it's going to pop out of focus. Uh, and because I have an f-stop of zero, I expect everything to be out of focus. So let me pause while it renders. Well, no, I want you to see the pop. So when you see this thing pop, you'll need to make a scene that's got a nice texture so you can see depth to make sure you turn on everything, meaning turn on your uh, textures, turn on your shadows, turn on your lights. So when this renders here, you will see that I have, everything's going to pop in out of focus. So here we go. Zero focus. Now, what I have to do is increase my f-stop. It has a maximum value of 64, minimum value of zero. So what I want to do is I'm going to bring my f-stop up to where the corner looks like it's in focus. Now, notice how things are blurrier, blurrier, and blurrier. So I'm going to give myself an f-stop of 15. I'm going to just sample our little region here to kind of speed things up a little. So what I really want to pinpoint is this corner. I'm going to get as close to it as I can without everything being in focus, but I don't want too little to be in focus. So it calculates this corner. I have things, you know, I, I have depth. I have something, I have something close, something far, something farther. So now I can see this corner. See how tiny that region is? It's just this portion. I get close out. This is this is focused in. And everything else is very far away. So I increase this. I could leave this here and increase my focus region a little. So I might increase my focus region to say uh, I'm just going to jump to five and see what happens. If I drag a smaller section around here, I don't want to re-render the whole scene necessarily. But I'm just going to do little points. I'm going to have a nice drink of coffee while I wait. So imagine the focus region kind of saying, okay, here's where we are focusing. Now I'm going to, I'm going to expand that a little bit and allow some other areas to become in focus. I don't want too much because I want, here we go. See how I've expanded that region? That to me looks pretty good. And you can see that this object in the background is out of focus nicely. It's got a nice realistic feel. It's limited. See, even this arc goes off into out. I love That's nice. I like that very much. So um, I'm happy with that. Um, so here is what you can do. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a second and render this scene. And then I'm going to show you how quickly and how easily you can change the location of your focus distance and how you can focus at different depths in your scene. It's really wonderful. And what I do a lot is I will compare one image rendering to another. So for instance, I'll show you this. You may be, you don't know this. So here is it, what it would look like if I had infinite focus. This is typically what most people do. They render it out. They don't take any consideration of the actual realistic uh, focal points or focal distances. 
and it ends up looking like computer, but I want it to have a sense of realism. So here we go. So I've, I've got this a nice sharp focus. This is in focus. So I get this, this nice separation of objects in the distance. Now I'm going to save that. So I'm going to click this button right here that says keep image. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my, this is my depth of field locator number two. This is the target and I'm going to move that down a little bit and you know that that's going to be changing the distance of my focus. Notice how this cuts through the antenna right here. Well when it gets when it just breaks through that I want to now focus on that so if I wanted to I could put this up here make sure I get it in the right spot. It's kinda of hard to do like this so I'm gonna to go to my I'm gonna to go to this view from the top here and I'm gonna line it up with that second antenna make sure that I have it where I want it okay so the cameras now gonna be focused on this antenna and I'm gonna go back here and I'm gonna render that so I'm gonna pause while I while I do that so okay so here's my render notice that this is in focus, not perfectly in focus, not as in focus as I might like it to be, but it's more in focus right around here than it is up here. So I might want to adjust my f-stop a little bit to try to get this to be more in focus. So let's go back. It might just be a matter of moving this a little bit. It may just be that sensitive. I want to try to get this maybe just maybe in front of it a little bit more. So I'm going to change my focus distance to be about right there. And I'm just going to re-render that region and see if I can get that into more focus here. This is out of focus, but that looks to be. So now I might want to increase now I might want to increase my focus region a little or maybe increase my f-stop just a hair see what I can do to increase that re-render that but ultimately I can mold, I can move this around and you can see I've got a nice focus right here and it's looking it's looking pretty good actually Maybe increase my center of uh, or my f-stop region a little bit. So what I'm getting this, what I'm getting at is I'm, I'm going to experiment around with this. Yeah, it's looking good. It's nice and focused. Let's see what this looks like. Be out of focus a little bit. Yeah, so things are a little bit out of focus. I did this corner. So I'll test it out until I'm happy with it, but it gives me the ability to move that around, move my uh, my depth around a lot, and I can easily focus on things. And it just becomes a little bit more interactive and, and, and nice. I like to just experiment and see what kind of things happen, what happens. Like I want to try to create camera effects, you know, like there's things that happen in your camera that um, things that happen in your camera that that kind of create interesting things like blooms of light and those kind of things. I'm going to try reducing my focus region scale back down to one and just see what happens. So this is the kind of thing that I, I would do to just kind of see, see what happens. I don't always know. Okay, so when I've moved my uh, when I've moved my focal point down, I've got a few areas here in focus. I uh, move my focal point. I adjust my focus region. I want to make sure I'm moving the right thing. And uh, my f-stop value 
is 19. Now I'm going to increase it up to about to about 40 or so. 64 is the highest, and um, I move my focus point back up to here. I'm going to make sure I'm putting it where I think I am. Here's my camera. So I'm going to do tests like this just to make sure everything is working. Also, the angle of my camera, I'm going to make sure I'm not moving things sideways, you know, versus moving it in, in a depth. So the position of my camera might be a problem. If I'm not getting a nice feeling of depth, maybe I need to move my camera a little more sideways so that the actual depth is changing away from the camera. So it might be better for me to change my angle up a little bit and make sure that I am looking at things at a distance away from my object. I want to get it at a slight angle, but not so much that things are changing vertically. That also might be a problem with what I'm doing. I'm not getting the result that I want and I want to know if it's my computer, if, my, if it's my settings. So I'm going to move that antenna so that I can focus on it. And I want it to be more in a linear way, so let me show you. So here's my camera here, more and there's the way. So this is more like an end, more as a depth. There's my antenna. Here's my the point of my locator, and if I move it now in Z and up, maybe this distance will be a little more, more away from the camera, more of a depth instead of sideways. I think what was happening was like moving it sideways, more sideways. And I want to avoid that because it's not an accurate real distance the way the camera needs. So I think that's what might be happening. So those are the kinds of things I want to be thinking about. I don't want to think, well, this isn't working. I want to see, well, maybe something that I'm doing, or the way I'm thinking about it, isn't working. So I'm going to render this so that I can see if this little antenna here is going to be in focus more sharply than this one here. So I'm going to select my camera. I've got a pretty high f-stop. Um, and my focus region is set to 1, so I expect this to be in focus. So let's find out. Okay, so that's much better. So this area of my object here is in focus. I can see the clarity now of this. I have a very low focus region, so I'm going to increase my focus region a little bit. Maybe I'm going to jump up. 5 might be a little too much. I kind of jump. I take big jumps render it and then scale back because if I go up a point at a time so I'm gonna grab this and see if I can expand that area of focus a little bit without adding too much uh, to it I still wanna have that antenna that's close to me feel out of focus but not incredibly out of focus just just slightly So these are the kinds of things, this can consume a lot of time really dwelling on these details, what it's going to look like. So here, this is the front edge, this is the far edge, this is the antenna, it's out of focus, this is in focus, it's very sharp and clear. So I may back this up a little bit, a little bit more, maybe I'll go to 2.5 now, and I'm going to save this, but I'm going to re-render this, so I can compare the two, and I can really see what's happening. Uh, I'm anticipating in my mind what's happening, but uh, what actually happens is different. So what I'm hoping to do is blur that front antenna out a little bit more so that the focus region is more around that back antenna. There we go. So this is nice and clear now. As you can see this is clearer. You can see the texture on this. And this is much more out of focus. If I was to change that, I'll try to do this really quickly without messing anything 
up. I'll move that to my 